eyes. Sorry, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> oh well. Um, how are you guys all doing today? Holy jeez. <laughs> I am so excited to start a new challenge with you guys today. We'll be starting the Disney Princess Challenge, which thank you, Bells, for sending me this recommendation again. I know I've been suggested that um, this challenge a couple different times, but I haven't ever, like, I haven't ever just played it. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so, without further ado, I guess um, not much of an introduction today, but... Let me go ahead and show you guys where we're starting. So we are beginning the Disney Princess Challenge with none other than I think the perfect place to start, Snow White. Snow White will be starting us on this beautiful, beautiful journey here today. <laughs> <laughs> so I have her here. Christian, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Full Up Pixie Girl. That is very sweet of you, Christian. Thank you. <laughs> the For the Gen 1 Snow White is I am wishing for the one I have, <laughs> I love to find me today. Um, the founders have humble beginnings. So what's better than Snow White to start this <laughs> create, to start this create Snow White? Storytellers may create her as a teenager and make her evil stepmother, but this is not required. When Snow White becomes a young adult, her story will begin. She must be a female. She must have seven children, her dwarfs. Each child must have one negative trait. Examples, gloomy, glutton, slob, lazy. Uh, each child must have the same baby daddy. Um, and each child must achieve something before their teenage years. This can be reaching level five in the toddler skill, reaching level three in all of the toddler skills, completing their childhood aspiration, or becoming a grade A student in school. Snow may never answer the door to strangers or talk to an elderly woman. So if a stranger knocks on the door, we cannot say hello. We're like, no, nope, we're shut-ins, you know, we're scared somebody's going to offer us an apple because we know the evil queen is after us right now. So no answering the doors to strangers and especially not to old ladies. Oh my goodness. So that is what we will be starting with. So first off, um, let me go ahead and show you guys the home that we will be staying in for this challenge. This is the cottage that we will be staying in for the majority of uh, the beginning of this challenge, as far as it goes with Snow White. So this will be the beginning with Snow White. And this cottage is super cute. The outside is adorable. I just, oh, I just, I love it. Also, we have the little, we have the little miners shed. I got this one off the gallery. Um, I'll have to go and look at the creator's name. But yeah, this is just the gist of the outside of it here. And then if we were to go inside, we come into a little walking area here. We've got all of the dwarves shoes piled up over here. If we go through this door, we're entering in to the living room kind of area here. We have Snow White's chair and seven little chairs for her little doors. Um, so this is the living room area. We got a little study part of the area over here. I think this is really cute how it's like the Snow White's story kind of a corner. Um, in this door here, we have the bathroom with Snow White's towel and seven little dwarves towels. <laughs> and then a plenty of toothbrushes for all of the family members here. We have a little toddler potty and a regular potty. And then we have this bathtub here. And then if we were to go into this door over here, Lainey, thank you so much for getting a sub. That's very sweet of you. This would be Snow's bedroom. So this is where Snow White will be sleeping. And then if we go around, we go into the kitchen over here. So this is the kitchen. I think this kitchen is so adorable. I did go ahead and change it with some of the CC and things I had. So I did kind of mess with a lot of this. Um, but I didn't have to change much from the original creator. Like they did a really good job. So. This is the table, the little pantry area over here. 
And then back here is this where they like to party and have fun a little bit, you know, where they play the organ in the movie and stuff like that. And then if you were to go up these stairs here, you would go up into the bedroom of the seven little doors. <coughs> oh my God, it's so cute. I can't, I can't even, I can't even, it's so adorable. <laughs> Love all the cozy little accents. I know, it is so cute. Oh my goodness. I've ever made Shrek characters. Oh, I've made tons of Shrek characters, yeah. <laughs> oh, my son's like nine months old now. He, he's here, he's nine months old now. <laughs> Can you believe that by the way, also my son's nine months old. This is like a little play area for the kids over here and a little baby station. So yes, um, we're going to be getting to work on kind of living the slow life over here, but also um, getting things kind of prepped. So right now, Snow White wants to come into the house, and we're going to go have to find um, a, a, a dad for all these seven babies. Now, do we want the dad to be Prince Florian, or I was thinking the Huntsman would be a funny story, because I feel like in the end, maybe we could have Snow White end up with her, like, prince or her true love. But I think, like, you know, the dwarves could come from somebody else. I don't know. We'll, we'll stroll around. We'll go out to a park and see if Snow White can't find a mystery man in the forest or something like that. <laughs> That would be fun. <laughs> That's like a perfect little green co uh, dream cottage. I love it. So right now, Snow White is just doing some cleaning up. I was going to wait till morning because it turns out it was like nighttime when I loaded into the game. Oh, wait. I wanted to also see. Um, I do need to turn on aging. Auto age played households. Only active households. So we won't only want my active household to age up. Um. Because we're going to be doing a lot of story progression with this. So we'll go out into the world and we'll see who we can find and such like that. I do have a couple characters. Oh! Oh, I was like, why is this cat toy so big? <laughs> but I guess that's fine. That works. Um, I guess she's going to go put it upstairs. You're gonna play, convince me to play this challenge again. Let's go, falsely accused. <laughs> uh, all these babies rooms are so cute. Okay, Snow White, let's take care of your needs, yeah, before we go out. Go to the bathroom real quick. Your energy's not that bad. And then maybe we'll just have a little snacky snack and then we'll head out. And we'll go find our new prince. We'll do some cereal since it's the morning. Is there a challenge to start? We're doing the Disney Princess Challenge. For those of you that are watching me over on TikTok, I am also live on Twitch if you'd like to be able to see the entire screen in a better quality possible. I have a love hate with aging on. It would make my life so easier, but it's so fast. I know. See, I can't have all of the rest of my Sims auto age up because I'm very meticulous. Like, I spent so much time creating and editing all of the um, NPC characters in my world that if they age up without my permission, it's very offensive to me <laughs> because I spent so much time editing them. So my thing that I'm also going to be doing with Snow White is I would like her to always, always, always be cleaning up. Um, I want to have my goal is to always keep the house as tidy as possible, which is going to be very difficult when we get her pregnant with these seven children. It's going to be a very <laughs> process. So um, it's about five in the morning. So we're going to have Snow White go out and she's just going to go to the local woods and try and find um, maybe some different seeds and kind of stuff. So we'll have her go out. Also, she does know the evil queen. So she has a very negative relationship with the evil queen, obviously. Um, also, guys, I got more honey. So I have actually more lemon and honey to use up. So we're at the park here. And, oh, it's a little fox. Oh, it left me. 
So I'm going to kind of be on the lookout and see who we can all find. Uh, Alice Cullen is, is not who we're looking for here. <laughs> also, aren't you a vampire? Why are you just walking around in the sunlight right now? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, it's exactly who I didn't want to see. My Twitch name is Hey Ishmani. There's also a link in my TikTok bio. How are you feeling? Still sick. I'm still coughing quite a bit. Um, who won the Hunger Games challenge? I got up to the final three. Scooby Doo won the Hunger Games. <laughs> and a hydrate. I should drink. Um, so I added in. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> so I can edit that out because YouTube will copyright me for that sound. But, um,. This is Prince Charming. Somebody asked me if I literally made Shrek characters. This is Charming from Shrek, and he is not who I had in mind, but I guess we'll just introduce ourselves for now. Um, yeah, he's not who I planned on Snow White meeting, but no harm in getting to know other people, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Also, keep in mind, Cinderella is the next generation that we'll be playing. So, I mean, Charming, Charming could give us a bit of that, that blonde, blonde hairness. That sounds scared me. <laughs> she can have seven at one time. So even with mods, I can't have seven at one time, but I can have up to six babies in a single pregnancy with Snow White. So we will be having at least six and oh yeah, we didn't we didn't really hit it off with Prince Charming. Uh so that won't be happening, it looks like. When do we what do we want to do in the meantime? I see no other princely figures walking around. Why is it only charming? Oh, we can go get a frog. Let's scavenge around for some seeds. Oh, Snow White would definitely go talk to some birds in the meantime. I believe there's some forageable plants up here as well. So yeah, we're just going to keep a lookout um, for some princely figures whom we can potentially make our new baby daddies. Dang it, that one's not harvestable. What about this one? Dang it. Come on. Give me some harvestable plants. Are there really none? If you guys spot any handsome men. Oh, charming. What? He is a blonde? No. <laughs> oh, look at Snow White trying to bond with the birds. That's so sweet, though. It's very Snow White of her. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Is that... I was just listening to Snow White talk, and it kind of threw me off a little bit. Uh, her voice is entirely too low. This will have to be the one. Because Snow White's supposed to say If this burns me, you guys are all going to be here to watch it. Ow! My Twitch name is Hey Ish Mandy, same as my TikTok. Ugh. And it's spelled with an A, not an E. And there's a link in my TikTok file, though. Oh, I think I put entirely too much lemon in this one. Now, oh, shoot. Look, Charming is definitely snubbing us. We even put on a fancier dress for him, and he's still. Was like, no, I am not interested. He's stopping away. Okay, so charming is definitely not an option for a baby daddy because he hates us. So that's not happening for certain. All right, come on. What other men are around here? Why are y'all too shy to show up? Huh? Come on, where's all the men? Me in my single days. Where's the men? Really, where do you find men around here? Ooh, hoo yeah! Oh, God! How dare you! Open the gate! Oh, no! Oh, gosh. 
The old hag is here. So we have to avoid that woman like the plague. We have to avoid her like the plague. Can I have conversations? This lady is not safe. She will 100% try and poison us. Um, so I'm going to have to have to watch out with her. And yes, off of Charming's head. How can he snub us like that? That is so rude. Oh, God, is she heading towards us? <gasps> Snow White, you got to run. Who are you? Oh, he's the baker. I had different plans for him. Go, Snow White, you got to get out of here. The hag is coming. You have to run, Snow White. So stop putting the teapot down. Go, go. Got to get out of here. She's freaking, look at her. She's, she's staring at you up the mountain. You have to go. <laughs> Oh my god, why is she actually coming near us though? That was kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh, it's the fairy godmother! Not from Cinderella, this is Charming's mom. <laughs> oh wait, no, we can't talk to old ladies. We can't talk to any old ladies. Technically, she's also evil too, so it kind of makes sense that we wouldn't want to talk to her. <laughs> All right, I'm zooming out. We got to find some other people here. So to the cute cottage. Ah. Uh, nah, he's not my first choice. He's not my first choice. I would prefer any other man, really. I don't like that guy for some reason. I don't like him very much. Oh, come on. There's got to be some other guy out here. Oh, another friendly looking lady. She looks cute. Can we be friendly to her? Make a new friend at least. Hmm. Okay, so we live all the way up here. Not seeing many people, even at the park. Hmm, I wonder if we'll have to go to the local bar. That might be where we find more people. Because as of right now, that even that Michael guy's gone. <gasps> oh! Oh! <gasps> Doth my eyes see? It be the huntsman! Oh, you go introduce me. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Something's Screw waiting her. in the bushes of love. Screw her so much. Because we might be headed for the bushes of love. Because we just found absolutely daddy for certain. Um, maybe we'll have to see if we can't find Snow White's Prince Charming. But I am so interested in the huntsman. Oh, God, the old hag's in the background again. Leave us alone. No, she's trying to come over here and ruin it. Don't ruin this for me. Stop. You stay away, old hag. I'm trying to flirt it up with the huntsman over here. <laughs> Ooh, and Legend said he thinks she's the prettiest girl in the kingdom. So his name is Maddox the Huntsman. Maddox Huntsman. Oh God! Oh God! No, he's not. I'm sorry. You have to run away. Oh God! Oh God! Why is she actually coming for us right now? Hold on, Huntsman. Huntsman, could you? You gotta come with me. You 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 gotta come with me. We have to run. We need to run away a little bit. She's a little. She, uh, go sit together. Over here, go, 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 God, God, she, God, <laughs> I hate her. Why, why is she following us? She's ruining my date. Huntsman, come with me, please. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Freaking, yeah, what are we going to call her? Hagatha? <laughs> Hagatha is a beautiful name for her. I was just going to call her old hag, but Hagatha, I like that. <laughs> what's the disney princess challenge it's basically where you just do a like a legacy challenge but it takes you through the different disney princesses you know you think the huntsman would be slower but or i mean that he would be faster but i guess we're just a lot better than him
<laughs> Do you use a reshade? Um, I don't have anything that's hardwired into my game, but on Twitch, I use some filters. So, um, on TikTok, there are no uh, reshade filters, but on Twitch, I do have some. All right, thank you so much for meeting me all the way over here. I don't know why that old hag keeps chasing me and trying to offer me an apple, but it's a very annoying process. <laughs> what world is this? Because it's super pretty. This is Henford on the Bagley. This uh, world comes with uh the cottage living expansion pack which is a very good expansion pack for the sims um you know i usually don't really care for them but they did do they did do cottage living pretty good why is it taking so long to get to know this man He's behind her on purpose, enjoying that view. Oh my gosh. I need to explore that world more. It's so pretty. It is a gorgeous world, though. Oh god, okay. I gotta keep looking out. The hag might be coming around any corner. So keep a lookout, guys, for me. Oh my gosh. I would love to look at the clouds with you. I want to do that. Talk about how do I, I want to do that with you. Hey, no, 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 don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave. Please, 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 don't leave us. Snow White, please stop messing with that. Okay, somebody's coming up the hill, but it doesn't look like it's the old hag, so I think we're safe here. I'm gonna flirt with him and see how he does. <laughs> Baby, come back! The huntsman is skinny? I mean, he's a huntsman. He's not like a big fighter or anything. He's just here for hunting, you know? Okay. Exchange numbers with him? Okay, hold on, look both ways. Make sure the hag's not coming, because we're out here in the public. Really should be returning to the safety of our cottage, but Snow White just kind of can't resist this very handsome huntsman. She just kind of felt, finds herself drawn to him. She keeps talking to him. Disney Princess Challenge is kind of like a legacy challenge, but you just kind of work your way through each of the Disney princesses. After Snow White, we'll be working on Cinderella next. And Cinderella will come from one of the seven dwarves. So the seven dwarves, we'll name them all after the seven dwarves, um, but eventually one of them is going to become Cinderella. So keep an eye on the kids as we have them and see uh, which one is your favorite, you know? She needs to cook for him ASAP. Do you think we can invite him back to our house? I think we should. I don't even know if there's a good place to woohoo out here. Snow White has really put on the good looks. I think this is like the first time she's got to really interact with a guy out here, so. I think Snow White's been a pretty sheltered child, and in this storyline, she kind of just ran away from the evil queen, you know, because she heard the evil queen was, oh my god, get it, Snow White. Because <laughs> she heard the evil, oh, oh, he didn't like that. <gasps> he propositioned us for a woohoo, and we rejected him. Also, relationships are building really slow for some reason, and I don't know why. Normally, how I have it set up is things would be a lot faster. So... We're going to leave this here, and we're going to head home because there's woohoo locations at our house. So we're going to head on home, and we will see if we can't maybe bake a pie for him or something. Like, we need to make him a meal or something and kind of lure him back to our house. Um, so what we did was we told him that um, we'd be making some food and that if he wants, he could come over for dinner later. So I think that's what we're going to be doing here.
We're gonna go back home, make a couple things, and uh, hopefully he comes over. She's not that type of princess. Yeah, he propositioned us for a woo-woo, but we're like, um, we need to get to know you more. I don't really woo-woo with strangers. Um, like Snow White is very stranger danger person, so she really feels like she has to get to know him first. So, respectable, we can respect it, but. All right, Snow White, do you even have good baking skills? Um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Skill cheat, set a skill level two. So baking and cooking, I feel like she'd be at least a little decent out by now. Oh wait, hold on, and we gotta add one more. Baking, cooking, and you know somewhere in here, she's gotta have at least a little bit of a start to singing. I feel like she's a level six baker and cook and singer. So let's start with that. Let's go see what we can make. Mama Panda, thank you so much for that four month resub. Let's do, what do I make for him? The dessert options I have to make are cakes. I don't want to do cakes. I'd like to make a pie if possible. Oh, a blueberry pie, a raspberry pie. Do we, should we make an apple pie? Actually, I don't even think that's an option. What? We'll just do a nice blueberry pie, you know? Christian, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Kaya Denise. That's very sweet of you to do that. Thank you, honey. Apple pie is there. Oh, I didn't see it. We'll just do another blueberry pie. Make him a dessert, and then we'll also do like a main meal. Maybe, I'm thinking like a shepherd's pie or something like that. We're very pie savvy around here. So look at Snow White. She's so excited for her little date. She's like, I'm going to invite the prince to my house. He's going to be coming over for dinner tonight. I really have to get ready. Oh, God, what am I going to make for dinner? She's, I feel like she's really excited about it. I feel like apple pie is too triggering, you know? Apple pie is too triggering. Yes, Snow White loves cooking. I wish cleaning was a skill like it is in The Sims 2. Like, do you guys remember that? That cleaning was like a skill you could have? I would think that'd be so fun, like to have that as a skill too. So like you can get better at cleaning and stuff like that. Okay, Snow White, no need to get so fancy over there. It's so cute seeing her prepare everything like this. Look at her making that pie crust. Oop. I like how everything, even the aisle of olive oil gets dumped in. <laughs> That's how she makes her pie. Will this be on YouTube? Yes, this will eventually be on YouTube. I usually take two to four days. <laughs> Uh, to upload things onto YouTube, but my YouTube name is Hey Ish Mandy, same as TikTok and same as my Twitch name. So if you would like to see this in the future, feel free to follow me over there. Um, okay, so let's set that out now. Let's go make ourselves like some sort of meat dish or like a shepherd's pie. I think would be good too. Um, a meat dish because the huntsman, you know, he wants a meat dish though. Like, I feel like that would be the, the dish that would really impress him. Mm, a cottage pie or a meat pie. Let's do the cottage pie just because it looks a little different. Yes, I wanted to do like the old timey looking pies and stuff like that. Where'd you get this kitchen set? Is it CC? Yes, uh, this kitchen set is custom content. But if I just look it up, sometimes the creators put their names in stuff. This is a cottage kitchen counter by... Um, this is from the Cottage Kitchen Stuff Pack. That's custom content, not a pack that The Sims came out with. Um, by P-Y-S-N... P-Y-S-Z-N-Y, sorry. 
I don't know how to how to pronounce that, but P Y S Z N Y called the Cottage Kitchen Stuff Pack is where I got. That's what it's called. So, but yes, it is custom content. It's not something you can buy. It's something you have to download off the internet. For those of you that don't know how custom content works, but I love this set. It's really cute. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that are watching me on TikTok, I am live on Twitch right now. Twitch is much better. You can see the entire screen in the best quality possible. I've got like a little bit of a color filter over on Twitch, so it looks a lot more crisp, beautiful, vibrant colors. Um, and chat is just a lot easier to look at on Twitch. On TikTok, I can only see like three or five lines at a time versus on TikTok or Twitch. I get to see uh, many lines, like 15 to 10 chat lines. So I'm, uh, it's easier for me to answer stuff on Twitch just because I see it longer. And she would make a gooseberry pie. I don't have those options to make the pancakes. All right, so we have our meals ready to go. So I'm gonna place them, kind of set them neatly at the center of the table. And let's go ahead and call Maddox over for a little date. Um, and she's not actually calling him. That's not happening. He's, he just knows when to show up. <laughs> oh, oh God. He's so excited. He's already here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and we'll call him over to have some of this with us. Call Tamil. Oh, he interestingly, he instantly came over and gave us a little kissy kissy. He's so nervous though. Don't worry, honey. We're going to find a way to your stomach. Don't you worry. She's like, grab your Oh, they're sitting across. Oh, he helped himself to some pie right away. He said, screw your meat dish. I'm going straight for dessert. That is so cute. I'm also really excited to see you play this because you have such good Disney, CC. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. All right, so they had a little meal together. Um, some of the tension was broken, so I think we're going to blow a little kiss at him and kind of get the flirting start going because we need to get uh, Pregante. So he's not going to be living with us. Um, we have to do this alone. But we need to have two pregnancies with him technically because the most I can have with the cheats I have is um, six babies. I can have six babies with the mods I have. So sadly, we'll have to get pregnant immediately after having the first six kids. All right, let's go ahead and for our first kiss with the Huntsman. Also, I didn't give you guys like a good look at the Huntsman's face. I apologize. So let me also do that for you guys real quick. Because I know some of you are saying he's super handsome. So since he's the huntsman, he does have a little scarring on his face. You know, from previous battles of uh, being hunting out in the woods, in the woods, in, in the woods is in. <laughs> so this is the huntsman close up for those of you that wanted to see him or to get a better look at him. Uh -huh. First kiss went well. Um... I'm gonna ask him to try and make a baby. You know how some Sims have been really refusing that lately? Yeah, like this, they like blow up about it. I don't know how people are having babies with people anymore because my Sims always refuse to try for a baby nowadays, which they never used to, so it's so weird to me. So instead I have to woohoo with them, but I have risky woohoo turned on. So that's the only way my Sims can get pregnant nowadays because all of my Sims refuse to try for a baby. Oh, I was afraid of this. Um, hold on. It would appear that our bed is next to a wall, so we can't really get to it. So instead, what I'm going to have to do, <laughs> which I thought about doing this eventually, but I'm just going to have to do it now. Oh, God, that was a mistake. I can't reach that now. 
Um, let's have the clothesline go somewhere else for now. Oh, the clothesline right here. And then we'll go ahead and put this here. Yeah, still enough on my lot that I can grab it. All right, so let's go woohoo in the shed with him then. And we'll get a cow eventually. <laughs> it's because EA made it harder. They really want Sims to be in love like the previous Sims game. I don't think it's their choice to decide how easy it is for my Sims to love each other. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, Snow White put on her good dress for this, too. She's like, hold on, let me slip into something a little fancier for you. <laughs> oh, goodness. She's such a good cook. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> Bed inaccessible? Build a barn, I guess. Snow White was so dedicated to woo-wooing with this man that she built a whole barn. But also my love relationship is really high with them. Apparently they just want you to wait days. They don't want you to start the game up and just be able to have a baby with somebody. She got dressed up to, for a shed woohoo. <laughs> okay. Snow, real quick for me, can you just check if you're pregnant before he leaves? We need to have these first round of babies get going. Okay, so she is pregnant right away. Let me see, because we at least need to have six. So she was only going to have one baby right now. So I'm just going to set the offspring number. And then I'll let it be random how many boys and girls we have. We at least need to have like one or two girls to have options. Oh, my game. Oh, oh. Is it not letting me? What if I do this? Oh, don't make this harder on me. <gasps> it's not changing! Why? Why is it not changing for me? I need it to do this for me. Oh, my game is really bugging out because of this. <laughs> oh, he destroyed my little castle. Missed my castle up. Why not? Usually this uh, works no problem. Hmm. Well, that's gonna put a wrench in my plans. Oh gosh. Hmm. And I'm not hitting no, I'm hitting okay. The options are back and okay. See, it's back, okay. Guess we need to do seven woohoos. Oh God. <laughs> Mods, offspring. Maximum offspring. No, I had maximum offspring set to six right now. So I don't know why it's doing this. 
I guess you're right. Let's try a different amount and see if it allows it. Girl, why are you standing in the sink right now? Let's just do three right now and see if that works. Okay, that works. Why does it want to be difficult? So it'll let me have three. Well, let me have four. I don't think it'll let me have four. Some reason it only wants to do twins and triplets. So I might, I might be trying. <laughs> we might. Okay, so we'll just go with this that it has right now. Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? Um, no. We have to do this part of the challenge by ourselves. So I'm sorry, buddy, but you can't. All right, so we need to clean up our mess. Thank you, Snow White, for already starting that. No, it's okay, sweetheart. Why is our girl in the sink? I don't know. We don't ask Snow White why she does things. And then let's go ahead and have her put these away for leftovers because when we have seven little brats running around here, we're gonna we're gonna need a lot of food stocked up. So we'll put that away. <laughs> well, if we need, if we can only have triplets at a time, then we'll just have to do three pregnancies. The pregnancy only lasts a day. So for this first pregnancy, I was going to go ahead and let it progress as normal. But then for the rest of the pregnancies, I was just going to speed through them real quick. Oh, I like how she's just reading books. Oh, I don't like how this book is in her way, though. No worries. I can fix that. I like the book as decoration, but I don't want it sitting. All right, I need to go a little more over. No? Good enough for me. There you go. Please keep going and reading your book, Snow White. Oh, she's sitting on there, widow chairs. He said he wants Snow's gooseberry pie every day. <laughs> He's like, please, can we move in? We're like, no. All right, Snow White should have her baby the next day because I have pregnancy set only set to one day. So for this pregnancy, we're just going to go through the, the whole day. And then for our next pregnancy, I'll like make her give birth instantly because I want it to feel like they were all together, you know, kind of. <laughs> all right. So far, we just have to watch out and make sure we don't answer the door for strangers and then that evil hag stays away from us. We especially can't open the door to old ladies. Oh, God. Do we? Do we? How much is our bills? <gasps> oh, my God. We don't have enough money for bills and we're about to. Oh, Lordy Jesus. The power in our house just turned off. Good thing, I guess, a lot of the rooms have these lanterns hanging around, but we don't have any power and I don't have money for it. Hey, Huntsman, <laughs> is the Huntsman still around? How am I going to make money? Oh, God, Snow, we have all these babies coming. We don't have money. Do I give her money? This challenge doesn't specify a money cheats. Um, oh, God. How would Snow make money? Huntsman on second thought you can move in, but he's not allowed to move in. We have to raise these children on our own. Gene, I don't know. I think you missed one, it sounds like. <laughs> can you get child support? Um, yes, technically, but I think that only comes in like a week after the babies are born. So I don't think we'll be getting any child support for a minute, even if we did. 
Ugh, I don't think painting's gonna pay off for us. Can I sell my cooking? <laughs> oh my god, snow just threw up on the freaking mat. You know, it's an artist process, I guess. Okay, move in the shed, just pay with her bills. Well, I'm just gonna give her enough money to pay the bills right now. Um, because I, I forgot about this part. And then we'll see if we can't come up. We'll just say that this is the money she had saved up to run away. <laughs> so I'll have her pay the bills real quick. But I'll have to come up with something quick. I wasn't expecting to have to pay the bills day two. Okay, so I gave her just enough money to pay the bills for today. I still would like her to sell this painting, though. <laughs> Alright, so these babies should be coming pretty soon today. Yeah, I'd like her to start some gardening work. Are cows and llamas pretty... Do they bring in a lot of money, you know? Um, let's go ahead and purchase some seeds. I feel like flowers pay off really well as long as we get, I don't know, what do we want to do? Starter veg. I'm going to get some vegetables and some fruits and we'll start with that. Open the seed packets. Gasp, liar, cheater. Get out of here! <laughs> you leave me alone. I'm doing what I need to do. Why is it always tarot root? I don't really like tarot <laughs> roots. Snow, can you come plant these, please? All right. And we have a banana plant. Uh, that doesn't really fit my aesthetic that I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're right buy a rose on the phone duh i can buy a single rose on the phone let's get an oh we're gonna get an apple i'm gonna plant an apple tree <laughs> just cuz um it just seems perfect pomegranates i know they're also really good but they take forever to grow so i'm just gonna get a rose bush and we'll start with that. I'll plant the flowers over here. So eventually I'll have to plan on planting more flowers. And then we'll also put our apple tree back here. Start planting, Snow. We got babies to support. Yeah, falsely accused switch. I checked the uh, computer and I did, I do have it said to have, oh, she has a job. Uh, no, she's not supposed to have a job, but I should go to this job. Because it would get me a lot of money all of a sudden. She's a freaking level 9 computer engineer. Um, we'll have to quit that, because technically she's not uh, supposed to have a job. But, um, but yeah, I do have it already set to level si um to allow six kids. I don't know why it's not working, though. But yeah, I've done it many times before, but today it's kind of given me... Giving me grief. Yeah, you can sell the wool on llamas and you can sell the milk from cows. I'm just trying to look if it's a lucrative way to make money or not. <laughs> Apply putting it in a more open place. Ugh. These garden beds suck. If this is the only place I can plant these. I thought these garden beds were cute, but apparently you can't do nothing in them. Despicable. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these garden beds. I thought they were cute in this, but nope. Apparently I can't plant that much crap here. Oh, you could plant multiple things it made it look like, but apparently not. I 
I guess we'll just do two rows. Oops. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Ugh. Fine, I guess I'll do two more rows. Four. Tear root, tear root, tear root. This, this, that. Where's my other mushroom? Don't I have another mushroom? Thought I had four mushroom plants. Oh, I lost a mushroom. No. Oh, wait. Nope, that's my apple tree. Am I losing one of my mushrooms? Oh, son of a nutcracker. Wait, no. It's right here. I'm an idiot. There. All right, now we're fine. <laughs> All right, Snow White, come plant these real quick. You're going to have this baby soon. So, um, yes, I'll be editing all the princesses to look like they're different, um, like their actual selves, because that is the same issue that comes up with Tiana, um, in that her mom is Cinderella in, like, the Princess Legacy Challenge. So Tiana is after Cinderella. So there's a chance that she could be a little too Caucasian. Um, so I plan on editing all of the features on my Sims to look like their current Disney princesses. And what they look like, because I don't want to make anybody upset by changing anything like that. So yeah, it is a legacy. I got this lot on the on the gallery just by typing in Snow White's Cottage. So yeah, it's on the it's on the gallery. If somebody else wants it. All right, you know nothing like good gardening work to get you into labor, right? Why does it not like any of my stuff? Like, why can't I plant the rose in this in the in the rose in the box? Why is it all being so difficult? All right, go water all the plants. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Ari will be in this challenge. She's technically an extra, but I was thinking about changing up some of the order of the princesses, maybe, to make more sense, I guess, but I'm not certain. Oh, hold on. Search the pockets first. Search pockets. Search pockets. I could find good stuff in there. Oh, honey, you are definitely carrying multiple babies in there. I don't have Belle ready to go yet. Belle will still be in a couple generations. Pull the item away from the wall. Uh, why does the game have to be so specific? <laughs> Those are already drying. What do you mean they're already drying? I said clothes are already out to dry. No, they're not. Not available. No available wash tub. Is it because the gnome is in here? So there's a couple things with this lot, yeah, I have had to figure out so far. So since the gnome was sitting in it, it wouldn't let me do the laundry. But now we can do the laundry. Basically, it's not so very, but more specific. Honestly, I feel like the Disney Princess Challenge is less specific than not so very. Guys, I'm not ready for all these babies to be here. This is going to be really hard. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Six, seven children is a lot. Um, excuse me. Hang on the clothesline. What are you doing? 
We ain't done yet. There, now we let him to dry. But somebody please remember to take the clothes off the line. <laughs> I have a terrible habit of leaving them there for years. And then it rains, and then they get wet, and then it doesn't go well anymore. Oh, it's my birdie friend! Well, if that isn't Snow White enough for all of you. She freaking is singing and she made birds fly around her. She is a princess. I put way too much lemon in there for this. Laguna, Brashu, and Arva. Huh. Now she's just talking to the plants. I feel like Snow White seems so bored right now. <laughs> ah. <gasps> it's time! It's baby time, finally! Okay. Um, I actually don't have any bassinets on hand right now, so... Let's grab a couple, actually. <laughs> um, Let's get... Why can't I find any of them right now? Of course, this is going to be a waste of my money, too. But I don't want them spawning in randomly right now. There's my baby bassinets. Here they are. I'll give myself the money back for these. I don't even think I can afford all their bassinets right now. But I don't want them outside or inside right now because they don't have enough room in the house for all of these. All right, so money. <laughs> Another 2,000 real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven, one, two, oop, geez. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. I have enough bassinets outside ready to go. All right, Snow. Come have the first three kids. And I will just be naming them accordingly as we go. <laughs> um, we'll be naming them after the seven dwarves, regardless of them being like boys or girls. So I'm just going to go kind of down the line. Um, so this was the first we got Doc. And then this one will be Bashful. This one will be Happy. So that's the first three. Now I need to call over the Huntsman again. Oh God. And we need to get pregnant with <laughs> even more real quick. All right, so good. He'll be right over. Hello, children. Hold on a second. I just need to have a meeting with your daddy again real quick. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're here, Huntsman. I just need a quick woohoo sesh with you, like, two more times. You just don't even leave. Just stay here real quick. So they're just going to jump in and do another quick one. Why not the prince? Because we wanted the Huntsman. All right. Yeah, Snow White is neat. Um, pregnancy. Let's let's do another woo real quick. I don't think she got pregnant off that. Why are you panicking, Maddox? It's not like you have to be around and raise these kids. <clears throat> Just a quick eat, right? All right. Um, pregnancy. Is she actually not pregnant? Excuse me, can I take a pregnancy test? 
Romance. Oh my gosh, she's not pregnant. Keep going. Huntsman, you're we're putting you in for some work right now, Huntsman. <laughs> I just need pregnant real quick. I gotta take care of these babies. I need to have them as quickly as possible. I know the baby's crying. I know the baby's crying. All right, pregnancy. Okay, she's pregnant with another set of triplets. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and have her have a baby real quick. Stop taking care of, what is this one, Doc? Stop taking care of Doc. Go have these more babies. Nope, nope. Go have baby. Don't worry about the huntsman. We'll talk to him in one more second because we'll need him one more time. <laughs> Thing is she can't have a job and that's many kids financially she's screwed i know she's screwed okay the bassinets are custom content god i don't even know <laughs> i don't remember where i got them i got them a long time ago uh let's call this one grumpy sneezy or let's do should dopey be a girl or should sneezy be a girl Sneezy should, well, that's not answering my question. I'm asking, should Sneezy be a girl or should Dopey be a girl? And the answer is just Sneezy or Dopey doesn't tell me which one you want to be a boy. <laughs> Sneezy for a boy, Sneezy for a boy, Dopey for the girl, Sneezy girl, <laughs> Dopey girl. Dopey girl, Dopey is cute for a girl. We'll do Dopey for the girl, we'll do Sneezy boy. And dopey. All right, now we need to get pregnant with one more baby, and that will be sleepy. How many babies do we have so far? We got one, two, three boys, and we have three girls. So we're split down the middle right now. Maddox, we need you one more time. <laughs> one more donation, please. One more donation, please. Sleep means the last one I have to get. Should the last one be a boy or a girl, guys? Should we have four boys and three girls, or should we have three girls and four boys? Or did I just say the same thing over again? Do we want more girls or more boys? I feel like we should have a boy. Or we have another girl. A girl could give us another option. Four boys and three girls, a boy, a girl, another girl, a boy, a surprise, a boy, a girl, a girl, a boy, a boy. <laughs> Everybody seems pretty divided on this. It was going to be a boy, so we're having it be a boy, um, except I want it to be uh, one because we only need one more. So she, she had twin boys, so it was going to be a boy, so we'll just make it a boy. Snow White had decided boy. Put the baby down, Snow. We're having the last one, please. Hey, Huntsman, uh, how do you feel about your, um, uh, okay, it's twins, triplets, quads, quince, sex, and sept, is it septuplets? For seven, is it sep? Oct is for eight. Is it septuplets? Oh, God. So I will be aging them all up to infants immediately, and then we're just gonna have to work through it. Sex tuplets is for six. Sep tuplets, it with a P, with a P. So the last one was sleepy, right? I'll do a double check here. So we have Doc, Bashful, Happy, Grumpy, Sneezy, Dopey, and Sleepy. Okay, so we do have all of them so far so we're gonna baby care i'm going to feed them all a bottle first just because i feel like it's easier to feed the the babies so i'm gonna feed them all a bottle and then i'm gonna age them up just so i can make sure they're fed Fucking because save, Josie. i will save 
because feeding newborns is much easier because they don't go anywhere. And then I will age them up. All right, and we'll save. For those of you who are watching me on TikTok right now, I am also live on Twitch. So if you'd like to see the entire screen in the best quality possible and more vibrant colors, please, 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 it would make my day if you go follow me on Twitch. Twitch is free. It works just like YouTube and TikTok. It's really just an app. You download onto your phone, your desktop computer, or your smart TV, and you can watch full screen from there. And I promise you, it's a much better time over on Twitch because you can multitask and you don't have to be just watching TikTok on your phone the whole time. You know, you can swipe it up and watch it in the corner of your phone if you need it. It's much better on Twitch, I promise. There's a link in my TikTok file that will take you to Twitch. My Twitch name is Hey just like it is on TikTok. And I also have a YouTube. So if you missed any part of this uh, challenge and you would like to see more of it in the future, I do, I will be uploading these as I go onto Twitch or onto YouTube. So my YouTube name is also Hey Shmady. You can follow me there if you feel like it. But I would really appreciate it. Twitch is the one that pays my bills, so. <laughs> my hubby said one from each dwarf. Oh god. Hey, I'm not asking you to do extra stuff with the babies. I'm asking you to feed them. Sleepy's down here <laughs> begging for some attention right now. Montana, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch, sweetheart. I really appreciate that. Everybody welcome Montana into the Twitch chat because they came over from TikTok. If you came over from TikTok to Twitch, please tell us in the Twitch comments and we will welcome you into the chat. All right, let's go. All right, are we all done here? Stop rocking them. Has every baby been fed? I think these two still need to be fed. <laughs> Oh gosh. I can't wait to see them all though. All right, I think we're good. Baby care. Start by aging up Doc since Doc is the oldest. And we'll just go down the line. Oh God, look at all the bottles. Christian, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Aw, to Montana. Montana, enjoy your gifted sub. All right, Doc aged up. Let's take a good look at Doc. Oh, he's so cute. And we got a blondie. So really for the girls, we're looking for at least one of them to be a blondie. So let's go ahead and age up little Bashful next. And keep an eye out, guys, because at least one of these girls is going to have to be Cinderella eventually. So pick out your guys' favorites. Which baby do you think will be full of personality here? Bashful? Oh, Bashful looks just like her mom. Oh. All right, let's go ahead to Happy next. Happy is the other girl. Bashful is a girl. Happy was a girl, and Dopey is our other girl. One, two, three. Happy is aged up. Crap, another one with black hair. Happy also has black hair, which I can change their hair to blonde uh, when I decide when we decide which one's going to be Cinderella eventually. But I didn't want to have to. Wait, which one was this that I just aged up? Oh, it's Grumpy! Does he have red eye? Grumpy frickin' would. Grumpy would have red eyes. Oh my god. Okay, Grumpy. I mean, you're very cute though, Grumpy. He looks just like Snow White, except for the red eye part. That's a little... Grumpy would. Let's just go with Grumpy would. All right, Sneezy has aged up. Oh, Sneezy! Oh, he's so cute. They're all so freaking adorable. Gosh darn it. All right, and then we have Dopey. Come on, Dopey. Have blonde hair for us. Have blonde hair. One, two, three. <gasps> ah, Dopey's a blondie! Okay, so Dopey right now Front runner for Cinderella. Front runner for Cinderella because right now Dopey is the only girl with blonde hair. <laughs> Which, like I said, if we prefer Bashful or Happy as the uh, one that will become Cinderella eventually, we can always change their hair color, no problem. But so far, Dopey is the only natural blonde for the girls. Right. 
So does the chosen one get named change to Cinderella? Yes. So once they age up to teens, that's when we will make, or maybe even as children, we'll decide. Um, so even at children or at teens, we'll make our final decision as to, you know, how the cookie's gonna crumble. And then Sleepy, our last little boy. Very cute, very cute. Oh God, and now we have a bunch of babies. Great. Um, I am not buying them cribs because as you guys know, cribs just kind of mess everything up. So I'm gonna try and, why are they all sad? They're all sad because they're outside, okay. Well, Snow White, you're gonna have to start picking them each up one by one and transporting them into the house. I will hydrate. Oh God, it's so cold though because I have cough drops in. I don't like how infants, they just take so forever, it's like so long to work with. In the original challenge, you're supposed to just deal with toddlers. And because I'm playing this now when we have infants, I have two hard age stages to get through. So I will simply play one. Oh God, okay, put Sleepy down here. Bring them all inside. Don't cuddle them, please don't put her down. Okay, thank you. Put the baby inside first. All the bottles on the floor. I'll get to it, I'm getting to it. Oh God, there's a rat in the house. There's a mouse in the house! Oh gosh, hopefully that doesn't distract us all the time. Yep, she's freaking out because of the mouse, great. Go pick up Grumpy next or something. Pick up somebody. How do you get that at MC Control Center? Um, it is a mod. So you do have to go download the mod from the internet. You just go to Google and type in MC Command Center and it'll take you about right to the webpage for it. I hate all of the check infant options. I got a mod to even like have them check infants less and they still check them all the time. All right, I'm slowly trying to transport each of the seven babies into the house. So far, I've got two in so far. Okay, put them down. No! <laughs> Stop trying to check the infants. Just go pick them up. Why do you, why you have an umbrella? This is, your umbrella is also annoying me right now. Pick up, pick up somebody. Pick up, <laughs> pick up. <laughs> Put Doc down over here, please. Thank you. I, I love how they're all hanging out over here. That's really cute. Christian, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Savannah. So on Thursday morning, I will be able to age them up into toddlers. So my goal for now is literally just to keep them all alive. That is my one goal, is to keep them all until Thursday morning in The Sims. Cause it's Wednesday in the morning right now. So I, no, pick the baby back up. I want you to put them inside. No, just, just pick up the kid. You don't have to do anything else. Just pick up the baby or that one. Put that one down over here too. I don't care, one or the other. Nope, okay, yep, nope, okay. get in the house. Again, I already hate this. <laughs> I'm already dying. Oh my gosh. Put, uh, put it in the house. Don't put it anywhere else. Go put it in the house. Put it in the house. Don't put it back down. Don't you put it back down. I know you're thinking about it. Snow, walk in the house first. Turn around. I hate this. Turn around. This is worse than the 100 baby challenge because in the 100 baby challenge, I didn't never have seven infants all at once. At most, I had like quads or something. Maybe I had six of them at once, I don't know. Oh, there's a bring inside option. <laughs> bring inside. Go, go, go. I can't get you out of my mind. Wanna go on a date and get some breakfast? I can't, I have to take care of children right now. I'm a mother now, Huntsman. I kinda just can't leave. Snow, I need to challenge myself. A new job might do. Sure, go ahead, Huntsman. Whatever you need. If you could just send money every now and then, that would be great. I would love it if you would just send me money. 
Wake up. Wake up. Oh, they're all sleeping in the floor. <laughs> it's raining. Look, I'm trying all the bottles outside. I know. <laughs> okay. Aww. Bringing them in. All right, we got one more baby to bring inside, and then we'll be good. Put him down. Um, hey, I'm in a bit of a weird place right now. Do you mind if I come crash with you for a while? I will, I promise I won't take up too much room. I just need to get away from a bit. Okay, so I mean, he's not, he's not really living with us, but, but I can't stop him from um, visiting, can I? And if he's over, he might help often. I mean, he's not living with us. He's, he's just visiting. Okay, we'll do it. He, yeah, come, come help me out here. And he's like thinking he needs to get away for a little bit. And then he's like, oh, you, you, we have seven kids together. That's right. Um, can I opt out? <laughs> All right, bring the baby inside. Go. Last kid. Oh, no, don't drop it. I make my guests help with the infants all the time. But the thing is, he's not a guest necessarily. He's the dad. All right, put Bashful down. Now we need to go clean up all the bottles outside real quick. All the babies are napping. It looks like it's nap time, right? Oh, this one's, oh, oh, it's the mouse around it. Um, Sleepy, Sleepy's not going to wake up from that, so I'm not too concerned. All right, Snow White, don't, don't even, don't even check on them. They're fine. Just go clean up all the bottle mess outside. I lost my mind with three baby or with three babies. I'd be in an asylum with seven. Oh, dad's helping clean up. I mean, he only picked up one while we're getting, you know, six of the others, but one less is one less, right? As we drop it. Okay, Snow White, I know you're hungry, but we have to clean up first. We have to try and keep our house clean and make sure none of the babies get taken away. So after you clean those dishes, then you can go ahead and get yourself something for dinner. Good thing we have a bunch of those leftovers real quick. We just need to make it to tomorrow, Snow, and then we can age them up into toddlers. And then when they're toddlers, I'll edit their appearance because they'll be toddlers for a little bit um, because we have to work on their skills before I can age them up. So they will be toddlers for the longest. I did want to keep them all as infants for at least one day. But uh, once they're toddlers, we can do a little bit more work with them. All right, what's dad doing? He's freaking out about them. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of the mouse hole because it's going to distract my sim so much from taking care of the baby. And it's crawling all over my baby, so that's kind of a problem for me right now. All right, clean your plate up real quick. Okay, how are the kids doing? What do they all need? Okay, so you're in a good mood. You're angry about the mouse. That's another reason we got rid of the mouse. Okay. You got bladder problems. Um, this one's good. This one's good. This one. Sneezy's getting a little hungry, so I think we'll have to go around and uh, try and give them some food eventually. So let's go around and start bottle feeding them. Because by the time I get through bottle feeding them all, They'll all actually be hungry. Aww. So freaking feed a bottle to all these kids. <laughs> Snow, we know we don't need to be flirty right now. We don't need even more babies. It looks like Doc is being cared for by the huntsman. He is doing his fatherly duties <laughs> for a second. Okay, so we are feeding Grumpy. Grump, nope, Grumpy doesn't want food. Nope, no, he does. We have $2,500 right now. So that'll tie us over for the week. Hopefully we'll get some child support payments. I hope at least something. I hope we get some sort of child support payment. Okay, put, put now you got to put that one down and you got to go feed the other one. Once again, I hate all the check infant stuff. Feed the next one. Where are you putting him? Where are, you, where are you going? Well, through the counter. Okay, can you put him down? Thank you. He a great dad. 
I hope he is at least helping feed some. All right, moving on to the next hungry baby. He really only seems to be taking care of Doc. Like, he only cares about his firstborn son. You know, typical man. He likes sitting down and holding Doc. Oh, are you feeding Doc? Please feed Doc. Oh, you're... Okay, he's putting Doc to sleep, I guess. All right, so we fed Grumpy, and now we are feeding Sleepy. Let's try and feed Sneezy next. Could you feed Doc at least? Doc is like medium hungry, so like, please get the, oh, why is there trash? Why are we playing in trash? Why do we have trash around the house? Is this happy? Happy, why? Mm. One of the worst things to come out of The Sims was checking infants every two seconds. I know, I even got a mod to get rid of that. And they still do it. He's dragging the baby. What? Who's playing in here? Grumpy? Okay. All right. Sleepy has been fed. Do not worry about what Grumpy is doing. Leave Grumpy alone. He is playing in the cabinets. He's just fine. I... Oh, dang it. Okay. What about Dopey? Let's feed Dopey then. Where is her husband? Uh, he's pushing. He's doing push-ups. That is not helpful for us right now. I mean, you look great doing it, but like, could you feed one of the babies? One, just one of them. Have the baby choose. He put Doc upstairs. Wow, he really did separate Doc out as his favorite kid because he literally put them upstairs. All right, get fed. <laughs> get bent. Go. Okay, we fed Grumpy. We're about to feed uh, Dopey. Him doing push-ups had me cackling. Oh, he's not helpful. Would you rather have them check infants all the time, or would you rather them be on their phones all the time? I would rather them be on their phone. <laughs> because check infants take so much time. Why are we just holding the baby? Did we feed Dopey? Stop talking to the babies. Just, like, do, do what I'm asking. Did we feed Dopey already? No, we didn't. Oh, my God. You're going to put him down, aren't you? You're going to put her down. Feed him. Her. Dopey's a girl. Feed Dopey. Please. You son of a... I told you I'm going to start feeding them now because by the time I get through all of them, then I'll be, they will all be hungry by then. All right, so now we have Dopey being fed. Has Doc been fed? Okay, Doc is being fed. Bashful. Wake up. I would like you to request your father to feed her. Request to be fed by Maddox. Maddox, why'd you put Doc upstairs? Okay, yes, thank you. Bring him downstairs so he's at least with the rest of his siblings and he can bond with the rest of his siblings. Who needs fed? Doc has been fed. Bashful is going to be fed by her father. Happy still needs fed. I thought we fed Happy. Maybe we didn't. Satisfaction reward level points are in your aspiration panel with the um, in the reward store. So you hit the aspirations panel, which is like whatever aspiration you picked for your sim to do, and then it's in the reward store. That's where your satisfaction points go. All right, Happy has now been fed, or is being fed. Grumpy has been fed. Sneezy has not been fed. Dopey has been fed. Okay. Sneezy is the last kid that needs fed, and I thought I had selected for Sneezy to be fed. Feed Sneezy. All right, we'll have- No, my god, that's right, they're gonna need diaper changes! Oh, no! Oh, shoot. All right, we gotta- we gotta work. Okay, go. 
Why are you sitting? Go hole. Feed the last one. And then we need to go back and change Happy's diaper. Um, change diaper. My house is gonna be so trash. I have bottles everywhere. I got trash piles, and then I'm gonna have a bunch of stinky diapers all over the place in two seconds. Oh my gosh. Realistic mom life. Hey dad, are you gonna do anything? It's nap time right now, so please try not to disturb. You could try cleaning up though. Oh, he picked up a bottle. Oh, how sweet. You actually did do something good. All right, let's go ahead, wake baby. Wake up, baby. No, I Why did you poop after I put you down? Are you kidding me? Clean diaper and then clean this one's diaper. No, not clean up that one. Clean that one's diaper. Sneezy, why did you poop after I put you down? I could have killed two birds with one stone and, and, and changed your diaper while I was holding you. Dads don't help 75% of the time. Not in my house. My husband helps all the time and it's great. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most helpful guest husband sim ever. Yes, our guest is our husband. He doesn't live here. He's just helping out. Just helping out. No. I hate how they cancel what I tell them to do, too. Like, no. Put this baby down. Go pick up the baby I wanted you to pick up. Oh, my gosh. Why are you sitting? Okay. Okay. I got one dirty diaper down. About to be two dirty diapers down. I'm trying to be quick about it too because I don't want them to like need a bath. It puts Sneezy down. Who else needs a diaper change? Who else has got a stinky butt? Anybody got a stinky butt? All right, Snow, we have time to throw away stuff. Everybody else is good. Oh my gosh, we've made it 12 hours through the day. We only have 12 more hours of this baby hell, and then we'll be back on our way, guys. <laughs> Clean up the diapers. Can I get your luggage? Like, I, yeah, I'm gonna put your luggage over there. Okay. You guys didn't tell me to get the clothes off the line. Now they're all wet because it's raining again. <laughs> Why do we have so much trash all over the floor? Who is rolling around in trash? All right, Snow, you need a bath real quick. Go take a bath. Hurry quickly but while they're all in a decent mood. Why is there more trash on the ground? Fucking save, Josie! I will save right now. <laughs> Who's yelling at me? Anonymous. Of course, you didn't want to be called out. Multiple people mentioned it. I don't care. I didn't see it, so you guys didn't say anything. I didn't see it, so you guys didn't say it. <laughs> All right, good job, Snow. Take a... It's because they keep playing in the bookshelf. Stop! I'm trying to have a halfway decent clean house. They're all ruining it. It's not fair. Why, are you hungry again? Are you really hungry again? No, you're not. Okay, Sleepy is about to poop her diaper. Um, by the way, I have um, need decay on 50%. So if their normal need decay level was at 100% where it normally is, their needs would be going down a lot faster. But since I always play The Sims with 50% need decay, um, I, this is actually not a terrible experience. So, yes, I'm playing on a slightly easier mode, technically. But it doesn't matter because this is still awful. And if I wasn't playing on the slightly easier mode, they'd be taken away from me at this point. <laughs> she just fully gaslighted the whole chat. Of course I did. Highlight my message next time. That's right. Highlight your messages next time. Oh, who's sleeping in the trash? Is that happy? Happy baby, there are better spots. Why is there so much garbage on the floor? Do I need to get them toys? 
I feel like I need to get them toys. They're just destroying my stuff. If I get you toys, will you guys stop ruining my entire house? Here, here. Let me get seven little toys. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, I got seven little toys out for you. And let's get a ring game out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to need some to I'm gonna need some toddler stuff here. Ooh, when they're toddlers, they can have a little a little a little playhouse outside. That'll be so cute for them. And it's cardboard, so it doesn't look too fancy or anything. They'll play in this little cardboard house out here. Mm -hmm. Um, and then let's get Yeah, we'll get blocks, why not? Set up blocks. And I think that'll be good for now. I think that's enough toys. Maybe they'll like actually entertain themselves a little bit now and stop messing with my bookshelves. How's that bath snow? Is the bath treating you well? There, Mandy goes spending all her money. Look, I don't have much, I know, but I need to do something, okay? They're driving me insane. Um, a little dopey, you're picking yourself up on nothing right now. <laughs> this is the stage that my son's at right now where he's pulling himself up on stuff. So my son is at this exact stage right now. Like, this is how he gets up on the couch, and it's so cute. Oh, made me miss my own baby all of a sudden. Snow, you are taking a very long bath right now, and it's very annoying that you're doing this. Okay. What babies need to care for? I really thought somebody would have pooped in their butt, but um, so far everybody still seems good. Come on tomorrow morning. Come on Thursday where I can age them all up. All right, Snow's gotta go potty. Snow, go take care of your own needs. Cause if you, what, whoa, 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 whoa. Why does the option say pregnancy test? What, did you guys woohoo all of a sudden without me knowing? If you're pregnant again, Snow, I will, f I, woo. Okay, she's not pregnant. Why, why, why was there a pregnancy test option though? Don't scare me like that. Ugh. Do I have anything to harvest? No, of course not. Aw, oh, look at him being a dad. I got one baby over here playing bashful. Everybody else is sleeping. Oh, look at the baby pile over here. It's a little baby pile. They're all sleeping like on top of each other almost. Oh. And Snow is insanely tired. Um, Grumpy is getting hungry. But he's also sleeping. Oh, thank you for feeding Sleepy! BBG, thank you so much for gifting us up! That's very sweet of you, honey. Thank you, BBG. Why all the blondes sticking together? You know, that's a good point. They were all blondies, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> here's where snow calls it quits and decides she's gonna also take a nap so hopefully dad's got this uh night shift because in the morning i get to age these kids up <gasps> is there an somebody knocking at our door I can't be 
Christian, thank you so much for getting a sub to Lady. Thank you, Christian. I think this baby now needs a diaper change. Or did they just toot? I think they just tooted. Never mind. Dopey's fine. We're all doing surprisingly well. Snow, I think you can go back to bed, though. Everybody's fine. They'll be all right. They can handle it. Toddler time? Ugh. Yes, it'll be toddler time as soon as it's like past five because they were aged up into infants around five in the morning. So that was my goal. Look at them all grouping together like this though. It is so cute to see. Oh, hold on, Grumpy's gotta change. Oh, Grumpy, of course he would. Time to wake up, Snow. You got enough sleep. Go take care of Grumpy's diaper before we have to age them up. Why more trash? Once again, Huntsman is only taking care of Doc, his favorite child. His firstborn son. That's the only baby he, like, really cares about is Doc. Alright, is there any other babies with poopy butts? Only a couple more hours until I can start, uh, aging you kids up. And to that diaper. Uh, of course, laundry. Can I put that in here? Oh, is this decorational? Dang it. I thought it was a real laundry bin. You really named them after the dwarves? That's so cute. Of course I did. Though one of them will become Cinderella eventually. So we'll pick from our favorite of the girls. And um, that one will become Cinderella. So that one will get a name change eventually. Right now it's looking like Dopey is in line to be Cinderella because it's the only blonde girl. But if Happy or Bashful is like, I don't know, we just are really attached to them, then we'll change them. It's time. It's almost time to age them up. And... Let's get going. MC Command Center. Set age, toddler. 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 Wake that one up. And we this one up. Happy is aging up. Oh, look at Happy. Oh, what style, Happy. And then Grumpy just aged up. Cutie. Sleepy is aged up. Oh, who else? Oh, look at Dopey! They're so cute. Oh my god. Um, some commands. Age. Toddler. Who's this one? S All right, happy. I think you're the last one, sweetheart. Set age, toddler. Come on, happy. You're the last one. Yeah, happy's the last one to age up. And then I'll go do a little uh, brief showing of them when we go edit all their appearances. Because they will be toddlers for a second, so I do plan on editing that part of them. Let's start with Doc. Dopey doesn't want to be unchosen, so they're like, yes, make me the cutest one. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I can end them all at the same time. I was wondering if I would be able to. All right. Okay, let's get this off you first, Doc. Oh my God. Doc is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a cutie. Do I do them up in the elf outfits like this? Do I dress them up like this so they look like kind of in that dwarf style or is it just too much? Cause it'd be easy. There are seven different swatches. There are seven swatches of this. <laughs> I see so many conflicting viewpoints though. I'm torn. I won't do it. I'll just try and uh, change their appearance. Are there no like beanie kind of hats? This will work kind of right. Give us that hat look. Okay, so let me bring up a picture of all the seven doors. Because I'd like to try and get their coloring somewhat correct. So they're all kind of in the same color palette. I'll try though. I'll try to get them to look somewhat the same. So Doc has a yellow kind of hat. And we'll just try and keep it basic. Doc has a reddish shirt, but it's on the orangey red side. And then we'll do just basic shorts for them with no, with no shoes, just to keep it really simple. Oh God, child. You are gonna give me a run for my money because you have this on all your outfits, don't you? So I'm only gonna edit their sleepwear outfits. We'll just kind of do a onesie style. Let's do their everyday and their sleepwear, just to make it easy on myself. Just everyday and sleepwear, because that should be the main outfits that we see them in. Maybe hot weather. I feel like they'll actually be in hot weather quite a bit as well. Gosh darn it, okay. Mm, this and the little hat. All right, so that one is Doc. Then we have Bashful. Woo. Let's go ahead and get her little hat on. Bashful. Oh god, I don't even know which ones they all are. Bashful has a green hat like this. Oh god, that hair doesn't work with it though. Oh! Oh my god! It's so cute! Oh my goodness, and Bashful has more of a little, um... It's kind of on the yellowy side. Oh! Oh, it's too cute. It's too cute. I have a problem. Oh my god. Okay, so we'll do... Oh god. When the outfits don't have all the colors I need. We'll do this one for Bashful. Oh, she has slippers on. Hold on. Here we go. And now uh, we have a happy. Oh, sweet pea. 
Let's go get her little hat. Happy has a yellow in tone hat. Um, and the hair kind of pops out and annoys me, so I'll just find another one for her. Yeah, that's cute. We'll do this one for Happy. Oh, you're right. Doc does have glasses. Hold on. We'll go give Doc glasses. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Thank you for reminding me to give Doc glasses because those are too cute on him. Oh, my goodness. Also, you guys know you. I always have to give my girls some eyelashes. Here we go. All right, so her everyday outfit. Happy wears what color? Happy has a orangey yellow on. I think some of them are gonna overlap in tones and that's okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> as long as they look different enough which I think the hats will help us with. And a little bodysuit. We'll just give her more of the yellow one. All right, of course, Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> he is like the spitting image of Snow White. Like he just looks exactly like her. Grumpy has on a brown hat. He is the spitting image of Snow White. Gotta find a hair that works with the hat. That's the hard part, is finding hairs that go with the hat nicely. There we go, Grumpy. And we'll just give him... He's got, of course, the red shirt. Oh my god, he has shark teeth. Grumpy? No. Have at least somewhat normal looking teeth, please. We don't need you terrorizing the town. Here we go. Now we have Sneezy. Sneezy, do you have the shark teeth too? Stop with the shark teeth, babies. Oh, Sneezy already has the hat on. He understood the assignment. Okay, Sneezy has on an orange hat. Kind of orangey. Yeah. Okay. And Sneezy is in more of a brownish toned shirt. I'll see what I can find though. Oh, we got something like that. Sweet, there you go, Sneezy. Worked out perfectly. And then for a bed, this one, that'll do. All right, little Dopey. This right now is our front runner for Cinderella. Um, because Dopey was the only girl born with naturally blonde hair. So just in case this is Cinderella, I will be changing her eye color to blue just to kind of give us that vibe so far, okay? So for now, we'll grow up with the idea that this is going to be our Cinderella. Yeah. And she's got shark teeth. No shark teeth, please. All right, let's go ahead first and get your hat. So this one is Dopey. Dopey has the purple hat. Let's find purple. It's more of a darker purple, but not that dark. More, that'll do, perfect. And let's try and find a hair. I think that's too similar, yeah, to the one her sister has. 
Uh, I don't like how it clips out. This could work. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm so bad at picking stuff. Do long hair though? Oh, that one definitely does not work. Oh gosh. Let's do this one. This one's cute. Um, if you want to know where I get all my CC, it's all on my Pinterest at Hey Ishmandy OG. So if you would like to see where I get a lot of my stuff, because I get CC all over the place. Um, just go check out my Pinterest at Hey Ishmandy OG. I get nothing for you going and looking over there. So it's not like I'm plugging or anything like that. So just a recommendation. It just is an easy place to put or to dry it, direct people. I really hate this shade of green. We'll do purple, I guess. All right, and lastly, we have a sleepy. Let's go get their hat. Sleepy's color is, I like a green, like this. That's pretty cute. We'll do this one. Sleepy shirt is one of the brownish colors. And change their pants and shirt. All right, now that is all of the babies changed. I think that is satisfactory to me. Um, hopefully they don't request to go in their hot weather outfits very often. Hopefully they just stick to their everyday and sleepwear mainly. So there we go. Nope, CC is free. CC is free. Let's just hope so far that they don't do that. All right. Oh, this better not mess me up. Whoa! Why is Bashful? Bashful, why? Why did you age up to a child? Are you kidding me? You just ruined what I was doing here. Ugh. Now I gotta go back in and change you again. Bashful. Why? Why did you age up all of a sudden? Okay. Well, okay, apparently now you have weird stuff all over you. What even is that? A uh, skin detail, I think. Oh, bashful. Why? I just got done. Okay, bashful was wearing a green type of hat right yeah green kind of hat and Ashwell has a orangey shirt Pants. No shoes. And what the heck, Bashful? Oh, honey. She is the next Wednesday Adams if I had let her. 
which normally I would, but for now we need a specific look for, for this right now. Oh, honey. Oh God, what did I do for her? I think Doc was the orange, Creppy was that. I think I did this for Bashful. Okay, there we go. No one else age up. Put her in timeout. <laughs> All right. Look at all my little dwarves. Oh my goodness, look at them all, they're so cute. All right, now I'm gonna save. Now I'm saving. Oh, they're all so freaking cute. Ugh. Okay, so what do I have to do? Um, So they have to age up at least to a certain level of skills. Each child, so they have to reach level five and at least one toddler skill to age them up. So, Grumpy, please, Grumpy, why are you living up to your namesake? You're picking on poor Doc. So basically how I'm reading this is basically they need to achieve something before they age up. So we're going to have to get at least one skill in the gold for each of them, which is going to be easier said than done so first thing i'm gonna do is snow white i want you to make clean out spoiled food no what food spoiled not my pies no he made dot cry grumpy's living up to his namesake okay let's go ahead and make what are we gonna make for these kids let's do a, a good breakfast let's do some eggs and toast for them Hugged him and then kicked him. How cruel. <laughs> uh, did it stop reading so you can go get the clothes on the line? They are still wet. Snow White, why are you hysterical? You're making me nervous. Please, don't be hysterical. I don't really need this from you right now. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I would have to be hysterical too to try and make it through all this, so. Why are we upset? I know, Doc, you're angry because you just fought with Grumpy. Grumpy, you're angry because you're hungry while well, Mom's bringing food. All right, my children, go get food. Every single one of you right now, go grab a serving before dad comes in and takes a plate. Cause I only have enough for literally the entire family. Go everybody, go grab a plate. All right, so Dopey has their plate. Uh, Grumpy has his plate. Snow White's cleaning up. Who is that bashful? And then we got Happy coming in. Doc's got his plate. That no, that one's bashful. Ah, sneezy, right? Okay, I'm trying to get them all by their colors now and try and recognize them. All right, Mom, good job. Let me just go ahead and make sure everybody's gonna start eating soon. Buddy, did you take a plate? Did you eat? Did you eat? You didn't eat. Go eat your plate. Okay. Happy is eating. Oh, Happy and Bashful are sitting next to each other, and it's so cute. <laughs> oh, they're all coming and sitting on their little chairs. It's too cute. Sleepy and Doc are eating. Dopey, did you eat? Dopey ate already. 
Grumpy, did you eat? Oh, I love how they all come sit out on the chairs. It's too cute. Oh my goodness. All right, full hunger, full hunger, full hunger. Not full hunger at all. Sneezy, are you eating? Okay, Sneezy's just not eating. Okay, so as soon as Grumpy sits down to eat his plate too, I'll know that he's good. All right, Snow White, start cleaning up some plates. The clothes are still wet. Look at Dad doing laundry! Oh, way to go, Huntsman. You're actually very helpful. Oh, nice. All right, Grumpy is eating his plate as well. Good. Okay, so let me start having my kids go do things. So, okay, what, what skills are we good at? What skills can I work on? How about Grumpy come out here and play make-believe? You come join him and play make-believe. What skill does this work on? Imagination? So this works on imagination. I need stuff that'll help build their skills and build their skills quickly. If I remember correctly, the tunnel does a good job at building skills as well. Where's that at? The tunnel and the dollhouse. Yeah, the dollhouse does a lot too. Got... Let's just put two blocks down. Get rid of the other ones because I think those ones are cuter. Um, you know what? I just got this thing. I'm curious how it works. I've never seen any toddlers play with it, so let me grab that out. I did just get new play stuff. Oh, I have to see how it works. Hold on. They they like musical instruments. Okay, so the musical instruments can go in here. That's a great play toy and a little piano. I just got this stuff, so I'm really curious if it works. Okay. Little piano. Little drum set. Because in the, in the movie, they all played and they danced together. That'd be so cute if it works out. Okay. And a little chef's kitchen. Maybe they can try and help mom in the house and do, do work like that. Screw this bookshelf. I don't need it. Put that there. We'll put this here. There. Okay. I got a few different toys that could hopefully help out with some stuff. Sleepy buddy. How about you come? Um, oh, is it just decoration? No, they're just decorations. Screw those. They're all just decoration. I thought they were toys. I thought they were functional toys. Now I'm disappointed. They seem so cute. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out which how I want to do this. I have do I have the xylophone out? I don't think I have it, so I'll put that out there. All right, I've got Sleepy here. Sleepy, why don't you start playing on the stacker here? Bashful, let's have you play the xylophone. Sneezy, um, does that do anything? That's decorational too? Mm, dang it. I'll get the dollhouse then. Mm 
Oh god, that's not so little. I'll just size it down one to make it look less large. There we go. Alright, you come over here and play dolls. Let me move these out of the way. Doc, what do I have you doing? Doc, why don't you come play on the blocks? And Dopey, come play dolls as well. Okay, they're all toddlers working on skills. Okay, Grumpy and Happy are in there. Sleepy is stacking. Dopey is heading over to play dolls now. Doc is heading over to do some stacking work. Sneezy is playing with the dollhouse. Okay, all right, all of the toddlers are busy working on skills. Mom, this is your time to go to sleep. <laughs> How do you change the color once it's placed? Um, at the top of the screen, there is this little, these little eyedropper tools here. So the um, the color swatch cards, the one, the, the, the button up at the top over here that looks like a set of cards, um, this is where you can change a color of an object and then you go over the object that you wanna change color of and then you can do it like that. So yeah, once you have stuff down, like you just hit the card color here and you can go and change any color of any item once it's down. No problem, sweetheart. You need some potties? We ain't working on the potty skill here. We're just gonna change diapers and pray that they all get their, med their level five skills up as quickly as physically possible. That's what we're doing here today. Heck no, I'm not practicing potty with all of these children. I would die. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep going through and making sure I just keep spamming interactions until they are too tired to keep going. You're doing great over here. Okay. I deleted something in the kitchen. I deleted the kitchen set. <gasps> I deleted the hutch. Dang it. How did I do that? Well, I don't care enough now. <laughs> I'll let Snow White go ahead and sleep for a second. Where's the huntsman? Oh, did he just take down the laundry and hang up new laundry? Oh, way to go, buddy. That's actually really sweet of you. Guess he's doing pretty okay. <laughs> Ollie, Mom, are you talking about me or Snow White? I did it in anger. No! Holy crap, has somebody already reached level four? Oh, this is going pretty quickly. Oh, shoot. Now I feel like I should have them at least do a couple skills in level five because this is... They're plowing through this right now. So maybe I should keep moving it forward. Because mm. they're all about to hit level five today. Oops. But then I can get them up to kids sooner, and then we can get into Cinderella's story, but then this challenge would just fly by. But what if... Oh, me? Girl, honestly... We a little tired, but it's fine. It would go so fast. How many gens are there for this? There's like 10 plus gens. So there are a lot, there is a lot to get through. Okay, well, that hair has decided it wants to be separate.
from everybody else, but I'm not a fan of that. Have them have three skills maxed out. How about, I'll let you guys vote. Because they're all about to hit level five skills already. One level five skill, two level. Five skills, three level, five skills, two days. All right, guys, go ahead and vote. Should they be able to have, be able to age up to children when they have one level five skill, when they have two level five skills, when they have three level five skills, two days plus all, plus one level five skill or all level skills, except the potty skill, because I refuse on that one. <laughs> okay, Grumpy has level five imagination. Happy has level five imagination. They have their level five... This child is still on level two. This one's on level two still. This one's on level three and this one's on level five. Ali mom, I don't take it as offense. Um, Ryder had RSV for two weeks, so we didn't, I didn't sleep the greatest then. And then he also was teething in his sickness and he just got his fifth teeth and he's nine months old. He has five teeth at nine months. Ugh. So you guys are saying I should be able to age them up at one level five skill. So I will take your guys' word for it. Um, it looks like Dopey, Doc, and Sneezy are taking their dear sweet time though. So once they get up their level five, then we'll go on. The layout of the house. We have kitchen over here. A entertainment room right here. We have Snow White's bedroom, a bathroom, kind of a living area plus a little study, an entry point over here. And then if you were to go upstairs through the entertainment room, you come upstairs to the toddler's bedrooms. My son is six and has his first low tooth. Aw, mama. So cute. No problem, Miley. My baby is six months, almost seven, and no teeth yet. Uh, like every baby, I know. I know they say every baby gets teeth different. My my son got two teeth before he turned five months. He had his first two teeth in in his fourth month, and then he got his top two teeth just this last month when he was eight months, and then his fifth tooth. Also in the eighth month, but towards the end. So he got his two top teeth at the beginning of his eighth month. And at the very end, he got in the third bottom tooth. So I don't know why my child is just like pulling all his teeth out right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Some And some kids are born with teeth. That is correct. Some kids are weird and have teeth when they're born. <laughs> Could you imagine your baby just popping out and just flashing a full set of pearly whites at you? TikTok asked if I felt negative or positive watching this live. And Candace, what did you answer? What did you answer out of curiosity, honey? <laughs> How do you feel? 
actually, guys, seeing them all walk around in their little color-coded outfits and little beanies is so cute. Why are you in the toilet, Happy? Get out of the toilet. I do not want to imagine that, Amanda. Uh, Athena, any day, you know, and you could just have a full, uh, a baby with a full set of, full set of jumpers. I said negative, JK. Candace, those are fighting words. <laughs> You're so pretty. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> no, we're not taking turns playing in the potty. No, Sneezy. No, that's Sleepy. My bad. Sleepy! That we're not taking turns. Happy was just in there and I told her no. Why would you get to go in there? A newborn baby with a full mouth of teeth could not be fun. So I, I don't, I don't, I have, um, I don't breastfeed my son. I just didn't produce. I was gonna pump, um, exclusively, um, but I was not getting anything in. I tried for like two, three weeks, and I would just get like a half ounce a day. Like I was getting nothing, and I was pumping every two, three hours and stuff like that. Um, I just would, I was, I just wasn't producing. So I, my son has basically been formula fed since day one um and I have no problem with that you know as long as my baby's fed and happy obviously he's doing fine <laughs> so I don't care and I don't think many people should either but um obviously he's doing great but I couldn't imagine uh breastfeeding my child and him already having a bunch of teeth right now because he bit me the other day and the bruise is almost gone, but he bit me the other day with his new set of chompers. Like, he's always gummed me, you know, it's been fine. And now he has teeth and he doesn't realize that he can, like, hurt me now. But there is a bruise on my arm. I know it's really faded now. But it was, like, bright purple. It was, it, like, instant bruise. And he was like, oh, what did I do? Because I went, ow! And he was like, what? What's happening? <laughs> A Smith, they just, they just, they both took each other's teeth. I don't know. Where do you get that dollhouse? I think this came with the, the uh, new ranch pack. The, the horse ranch pack. I think this is what this one came with, if I think correctly. Right? Is this the word this one came with? Yeah, it came with the, uh, the horse ranch pack. What are you leaving, by the way? Not... Not that I like don't like you have you staying here, Maddox, but you've been here for like a day or two, and I'm just kind of curious how long this is gonna go on for. Okay, how are we all doing? Dopey, your skill's only a level three. Your skill's a level three, and your skill's a level four. So these three are taking the longest. The dollhouse and the blocks apparently just seem to take a little longer, but that's fine. My baby girl be one next month. Aw, Tabitha! Congratulations, by the way. Ah, uh, it blows my mind. Oh, oh, no, no, we do not need any more children. You cut that out. Get out of here. No, I don't want any of it. Um, it blows my mind that my son's, like, first birthday is in three months. Like he's nine months old, his first birthday is in three months. And it blows my mind. I'm like, when did he when did he get so big that he is almost gonna be turning one? But Tabitha, have fun at your baby girl's first birthday party next month. That's so exciting. They try to shame her for wanting to breastfeed her baby? That's so weird. Oh, Snow likes affection? Heck yeah. Oh, her and Grumpy have a really good relationship. Does she have a favorite child? Is Grumpy her favorite? Grumpy's her favorite child. And I have said from day one that Grumpy was literally her carbon copy. Grumpy is her favorite child. And he looks literally exactly like her, like down to the eye color and everything. Mm. Ryder being a year old is absolutely wild. I know. 
my thought was this was Amy Schumer for a second. I feel like I could I could see the resemblance. You know, we're we're loud blonde chicks. <laughs> Oh, look at Bashful! She's going potty by herself! Oh, big girl Bashful! I love the independent trait. It's my favorite thing ever. Gracie, I thought you were talking about yourself, but I'm assuming you mean like your family or your kids. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we're giving... Oh, what is this one? Sleepy? Sleepy, right? This is Sleepy. We giving Sleepy a little bath? Oh, we're giving Sleepy a bath. It's so cute. Doc, why do you hate aliens so much? Keep stacking. Keep working. All right, the dollhouse takes forever. So since they're still just working on imagination, since this skill also gives imagination, I'm gonna have them finish out here if they need to, just cause it's faster. Oh, and I moved it. Gosh darn it. That means I just canceled all those interactions. And then Doc, you just keep stacking away, buddy. Oh, God. See, these three are the ones that made it take longer. So if they had been doing any of the other fast inter activities, then we would have had them older already. But Oh, my God. He's got slippers on in the bathtub. I know my Sims game doesn't know how to make sense of clothing when it comes to like bathing and stuff like that. Like they never pick the right items. Um, how hungry are all these kids getting? Their hunger's pretty okay, but for the most part, no, I got some getting hungry, so. Snow White, I need you to go make another dinner for these kids. So, it's a late night kind of snack. I definitely can't give them sugar because then they'll be up my... Mm. So, let's give them... What do I want to give my babies? A camper stew. We'll give them a camper stew. Is the laundry dry? No, it's still wet. I think, I think, um, I think Maddox hunt, Huntsman's been changing it because he's been out doing the laundry and stuff. So I think he's been changing the line possibly. Did all seven survive? All seven are still here. All right, children. If you are done acquiring skills, you may come get dinner. You are still working. You are still working. You are still working. You may come get dinner. Stop making a mess right now. No, don't even, no, no, stop it. Stop it, stop it, Free. no, stop. Okay, good, we caught her before she made too big of a mess. <laughs> Gonna have to go potty soon. Hurry up, get on that imagination skill. You can do it, buddy. Then you can go eat. Yep, you too. And then you can go eat. Doc, am I gonna have no, your hunger is pretty fine. So you should be able to get up to level five before you get too hungry. Don't forget the garden. Oh god. I do have harvestables. Heck yeah. I need some seasonal stuff, but. Oh, she switches to her, like, working clothes to go out and work in the garden. That's sweet. How's my rose looking? Out of season. Uh, freaking course. And my apple's out of season, too. Oh. Buddy, I need you to, why do you refuse to eat every time? Go eat. Buddy, you need to go eat some food. 
You don't have any place to go eat. You can't you can't eat anywhere. You can find nowhere to go eat. Why not? Why can't why can't Grumpy eat? I don't understand. I have all the other kids eating. Why can't Grumpy eat? Happy eight, sleepy eight, Dopey's working on the last of their skill. <gasps> and they're done, so Dopey can go eat. Uh, Doc, you are not done yet. So I need you to come back and finish this. Um, did you eat your food? You ate, no, you didn't. Grumpy, did you eat? Why will Grumpy not eat? Reset. Can you eat now? Why will Grumpy eat? Why will Grumpy do anything? Okay, I'm gonna cheat Grumpy's hunger because I don't know what's happening with Grumpy and I like would prefer he not die, so. Can you go upstairs and go to bed? You can. Okay. You have to go potty. Okay. I have a lot of kids that are sleepy. So can we start getting some kids to go upstairs and sleep? I don't know if you all have the skills to do so. But I would like you all to try to come upstairs and go to bed. Except you, Doc. You're still working on stuff. Nope. Of course not. All right. Can you wander so you can get a level two skill to go up the stairs? My children, what is your skills? You need another movement skill as well. Wander, all the children who do not have a level two movement skill to be able to go upstairs. You need to wander around until you can climb up the stairs. <laughs> Doc, you'll be able to do it. Okay, you also need to go wandering around. You can now go upstairs, so you can go sleep. Look at them all running around now. Hey, we got laundry going. Move laundry to the clothesline. See, he's been, look, look, look at all the laundry he's done. See, he's got so many laundries done. Doc kind of looks like one of the Sproul twins. I mean, have you ever seen him without that beanie? No, because he's a weirdo. <laughs> I really like your approach to gameplay. Like this is entertainment. Um, I I am mainly a gameplay player. Like I, oh, we have honey. We have honey. So I um. She's gonna be in a bad mood, but oh well. Heck yeah. All right, I can sell that. And I can sell this beeswax. See, I got some money coming in. I got money coming in. We're good now. All right, I got a lot more babies that are level two. So can we come upstairs and go to bed? Grumpy, this is obviously your bed. Um, you can come up and sleep, right? You are already on your way up. You're still working. You still need to finish your skill. You can come up. You can come up. Are the end tables in the way? I didn't put them here but I'm more than willing to get rid of them. All right, now can people get into their beds? Grumpy, no, don't go back downstairs. Don't go downstairs, please don't. I'm begging you. All 
All right, can all of my children go to the bedroom now? No? Why? What is the problem? Can you go up here? Why not? Are you stuck? Can you go here? Can you go here? Okay, no, no. The chair is in your way. Is it because of this pile of laundry? Yes, it is. Oh, for sh... It didn't have to be this hard. It didn't have to be this hard. Okay. How many kids do I got in bed? Okay. I got one in bed. I got one. Who else is going to bed? Doc, how are you doing? You are so close to the level five. You still need to wander around, Dopey. I got a lot of babies that are gonna need diaper changes in the morning, but it's gonna be okay. If they all get to level five, then I don't have to change their diapers and they can all take showers. <laughs> and that's my plan. Is that I can ignore the diaper changes until Doc gets a level five and in the morning I can age them all up. See, for instance, happy is in a terrible mood. Do I care? Not right now. Come on, Dopey. You all have to at least sleep in the bed once. That way we can get a cute thing of you all sleeping upstairs. Go to bed. Doc, how are we doing? You're good. You're in bed. You're in bed. You aren't. Where are you? Why are you going upstairs? Don't worry about Doc. I want you to come to bed. Go back to bed. Nope, don't worry about your mom. Don't worry about your mom. Don't worry about nobody else. Just get to bed. Oh God, the amount of mess. Keep sleeping. No, we had a bad dream. No, no, you're gonna try to bite your dad? Okay. <laughs> oh, is Hummins reading them a bedtime story? He's reading all the babies a bedtime story. Baby. Oh, too scared to sleep in bed. Go to bed. How you doing, Doc? <gasps> Doc, you've done it! You've done it, Doc! You've earned the right to come to bed. Go to bed, my love. You can stop this work. Doc was the last one to finish a skill, which I find so funny because supposedly like he was like the leader, like the smart one. And Snow White, you need to come repair this. Go on up, Doc. You've earned it. You've earned the right to go to bed. Look at all my babies sleeping! This is what I wanted to see, at least before I aged them up. Look at them all sleeping in their little beds. I'm a good mom. <laughs> All right, so we should be able to age them all up here soon to children. Be good. All right. It's also cute and peaceful while they're all sleeping, right? All right, Snow White, way to finish that. And then could you try and pick up all this laundry? Who's the first one? Doc, why did you get up out of the bed? Okay, well. Can you start with the laundry? What are you doing with Doc? Oh, Doc wanted to be put back to bed. Oh, oh that was cute. <laughs> All right, Snow White is starting the day by picking up seven piles of dirty laundry and heading. No, she's not squeamish. And heading to do the laundry. Oh, there's so much dirty laundry. <laughs> And that's been deflated. Do the laundry in the wash tub. You know, Snow White's day just never ends. You know, she's got to start with the laundry, move on to repairing all the kids' stuff. Do laundry in the wash tub, please. Is there no room in the wash tub? Here we go. Like, while all of the kids are still sleeping for the day, 
Snow is already getting started. <laughs> CGS, girl, thank you so much. I'm glad you've enjoyed yourself. I saw you on my For You page and I thought you were lovely. Aw, Tilly, thank you. <laughs> All right, Snow, way to go. You know, I feel like we've, we've been taking good care of these seven children, okay? I feel like we've done a good job. Don't be why you up. Never mind. All right, as soon as they're all up, I'm going to go ahead and start aging them up into children. Let me do a double check real quick. Okay, he's got his, Grumpy has a level five skill. Happy has a level five skill. Uh, Sleepy has a level five skill. Dopey has a level five skill. Doc has a level five skill. Sneezy has a level five skill. And Bashful has a level five skill. Okay, so as soon as they all are all up, I can start aging them all up. And a Snow White also needs to come repair this dollhouse upstairs, too. Oh, are we all up for the day? All right, now we're going. It's time to begin, guys. Sim command center. Set command. Age sim up into a child. Sim command center. Set age. Child. Sim command center, set age, child. Sim command center, set age, child. Sim commands, set age, child. Sim commands, set age, child. And lastly, sim commands, set age, child. Here we go, buckaroos! One, two, three. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. They all have to have a negative trait now that they're aging up to kids. Okay. Um, Dopey's negative trait should be that they're. Is there really like a good one for dumb? <laughs> they are. We'll just go with they're a little erratic. So they all have to start having a mental trait now. Or not a mental trait, a bad trait, a negative trait. Bashful has aged up. We'll have Bashful be squeamish. Grumpy, of course, you know, we gotta make him hot-headed. Oh, not social, God, not social. Happy? Oh, Happy has to have a negative trait. Happy definitely cannot have gloomy. <laughs> um, I guess we'll have Happy be a glutton. Because to me, Happy, even though they're like all kind of chubby, Happy always seemed like the heaviest set of them all. Sneezy, um, Sneezy should be, oh. Sneezy should be, is a loner a negative enough trait? Sneezy can be lactose intolerant. <laughs> In my head, lactose intolerant is a negative trait, right? Goofball to me has always seemed like a positive trait. Oh, are they all are they all done? What about Sleepy? Sleepy, age up, because you're the one I thought would be good for lazy. Stop ruining it! No, you're gonna make them all cry. Get out of my house. It is time for you to get out. Now look, this one's sad. I still have kids that need to age up. Set age child, please. Doc, you need to age up too. Set age child. And now they are all gathering around it, crying. All right, where's Lazy at? There it is, Lazy for Sleepy. <laughs> Doc, come on, buddy. Age up. 
Set age child. You're the only one that needs to age up still. You were the first born and now you're choosing to be the kind of last one to do things. Doc can be a... Oh god, do I even have like... Oh, a slob, right? A slob. Doc can be a slob. Works for me, right? Or I can be a stealer. I feel like Grumpy should have been mean and Doc should have been hot headed because Doc always gets up, but oh well, we'll just have Doc be a slob. All right, let's go ahead and edit their appearance. Isn't Dopey going to be Cinderella? Dopey is still in in the running for Cinderella, but where is, uh, nothing saying that it is set in stone yet, you know? All right, let's go ahead and get them all set up. So, do you have shark teeth, by the way? No, okay, good. Let's get Doc his glasses back. Only gonna edit their their active, their sleepwear. Yeah, I'm gonna do their only their everyday and their sleepwear for now. Same as when they were toddlers. Okay, what? Clothes do I put them in now? Should I dress them all completely uniform again or should there still be some variety? Because it was cute having them all in a uniform style. But finding outfits that come in as many shades is a little difficult. Uniform, uniform, a variety. I like what you did. A variety, uniform. See, Twitch is saying variety and TikTok is saying uniform. We have conflicting opinions right now. Um, okay, so you were the kind of orangey one. Let me see something here. I don't like that though. I think for children, it's gonna be a little bit harder to do them all uniform because I think my color options now are a little limited. So I'm gonna try and have them as similar as possible. But I think the boys are gonna look similar and then the girls are gonna look similar. And I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Oh, dang it. Have them on like oops. Do I have any beanies that work for them all? Hmm. Ah, oh, I have a couple. I think I could swing it. It's probably not gonna look as nice or as uniform as it once did. I'm gonna do my best though. So here's Doc so far. Yeah, colors now are a little more difficult. Which sucks because I liked having them all uniform. It was really cute.
All right, let's go with that. All right, so now we have Bashful. Bashful kind of had that. Oh, Bashful. Such a cutie. And you have Shark Teeth. Well. <laughs> Make sure we change that. There we go. Bashful had like a green hat. Oops, hold on, I'm in her sleep, whoops. There we go. Oh, come on. I coughed. I'm sorry. I coughed, so I muted my mic. I told you guys yesterday that I would do that at some point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I usually mute my mic when I cough. I forgot to switch it back off for a second. I don't know how long I was like that, but I apologize. My bad. Gosh darn it. I can't stand myself. What did I do for the boys' sleepwear? Ugh, this is so much harder for their kids. Apparently I don't have as many cute swatches of everything. Which is somehow very annoying now. What did I do for his real quick? Doc, I did a basic shirt for you. Well, I guess girls will have the long sleeve shirts. Why do you have a two-tone face? Get rid of that. Get that. All right, so Miss Happy here. this work with the hat oh wait, I need to go back and change Doc's hat happy you have a yellow hat hold on I need to change Doc's hat I thought you were just silent no I'm just stupid <laughs> That one's grumpy. It's kind of dark, though. This one's dark. Which color did I have for dark? Did like a mustard color. I think that'll work for me. Right. I'm so specific, and it's such a bad thing sometimes. Because I will sit here and I will futz with things for far too long. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Happy. Okay, your girls do the tank tops. Happy has a yellow. And oh my god, you have shark teeth. Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. I hate the shark teeth stuff. Like, it's nice to have the shark teeth on hand in case I'm doing any, like, interesting spellcaster children. But when it starts popping up on everything, I get so annoyed. <laughs> okay. Bedtime. Girls had long shirt. Happy's yellow. With the brown pants. Did I have the same brown pants with them? Like the same shade. I just want them to be somewhat uniform. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Moving on to Grumpy. He looks, he's still spitting image of Snow White. Still the spitting image of Snow White. Ugh. He's so cute. Ugh. Oh, that's a hair missing. It's mesh. <laughs> Oh, I'm in. Here we go. Let's go with his dark hat. We'll just make him look a little on the angry side. Somehow he doesn't look angry, but I tried lowering his brows. Didn't really work. <laughs> All right. Get that shirt for the boys. Where's that at? Is it this one? No, it was this one. Oh, he has shark teeth too. Here we go. Pants, boots, sleepwear. Oops. Oh, what shirt did they have? Why do I always forget? They had that shirt. Uh, where is that shirt? Oh, here it is. With the pants. All right, Grumpy's done. Moving on to Sneezy. <laughs> Sneezy is so cute. <laughs> Sneezy has an orangish hat. with a brown type shirt. Uh, of course, we don't just have brown as a shade in this shirt. Ugh. I guess we'll go with that. And he has shark teeth. They all have to have the shark teeth. Okay. We'll just have to ignore the fact that he has a print on his shirt. Because apparently I don't have that many options for kids I'm learning. I need to go find more child CC. Or at least like more mono-toned shirts. Uh, brown tone. Yep, there we go. He's going to have like the ugliest stuff. I'm so sorry, buddy. All right, on to Dopey. What the heck is going on with you? No, no, Dopey. No, no, Dopey. Bad. No, absolutely not. Will not allow. Ain't having it. Let me look a little sweet. Okay. Let's do. What hair will work nice with the hat? Let's 
This hat, does this hair work with hats? And Dopey, of course, has his purple hat. Nope, that one does not work with hats. That one's too fluffy. Oh, that works, and that's cute. Going with that one. And you have shark teeth. Why? Girls have long shirts. Right? No, they have the tank tops. Dopey is green. With the pants. And with the boots. And then sleepwear. Long pants or long shirts. Green. A very bright green, but still a green. And the brown pants. All right, last kid. We're finally getting to the end here. We got Sleepy. Sleepy, turquoise hat. Let's start with, do you have shark teeth? Oh, he's got a little buck teeth. Oh, not a buck teeth, but gaps between his teeth. That's so cute. I will take that. And he also has a little turquoise cap. All right, everyday wear, he's got this shirt and he's also a brownish color. So he will also receive a printed shirt. And his sleepwear. Well, unfortunate, this is what we gotta go with. <laughs> all right, all of the kids are now edited in their appearance. Good day, sir. Oh my God. I think Happy is the cutest out of the girl. <laughs> I still think Dopey is still my choice to go. I'm pretty happy with Dopey so far. Oh gosh, what time is it? Oh my God, no, it's time to end. <laughs> okay, well, as they're all crying over everything, it's time for me to end this challenge. I We are into three hours. I'm gonna save now. If you have enjoyed this challenge, please give a follow. I will be live again on Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't go live on weekends. I will be back on Monday. If you missed any part of the first this is episode one. If you've missed any part of it, I will be uploading it to the um, to my YouTube at Hayish Mandy this weekend, um, probably within the next two days. So keep a lookout on my YouTube at Hayish Mandy if you'd like to see the rest of this episode. And I'll be posting future episodes there as well. So if you don't think you'll be able to catch me live, definitely go follow me on YouTube. That way you can get the episode when it goes up. Um, Follow my Twitch, my TikTok, and YouTube. I hate Ishmania on all those platforms. I have loved this challenge so far. I cannot wait. We will most likely be starting Cinderella next stream. So if you're excited to see Cinderella's journey, that will start um, when Cinderella is a teen. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out tonight and have a wonderful night. Bye, guys. <laughs>